Hello, good people. How y'all doing today? Let's get the show started with a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, The countdown was gonna start. Well, I, I should have known that, right? That it was gonna stop. Um, hold on one second. Damn it, I meant to stop the record. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to keep y'all on hold that long. Um, right, I just cut my mic off. Welcome to the show, everyone. My name is Rich Matrix. I will be your host for the duration. This is a kind of smart podcast on the TNC network. I welcome one, I welcome all. Welcome to Oblivion. We are here now. Um, been an interesting last couple of days. I told y'all, well, I don't know if I, did I tell y'all? Well, I think I did tell y'all. I mean, I think I made a show since I had, right, been to the dentist and stuff. Right, I think I made that show. Um, but the thing is, right, I made a show with my um, co-host, Binky, right? A long ass show. Um, we got some listens, you know, but I took it down the next day because I'm horrible, people. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> I mean, I do not know how to talk to people. And, like, um, I know in my mind what I be, you know, because I know in my mind what I be trying to say. Or I know, you know, I know how I know how it may look, you know, how, you know, I'm coming off as an asshole. But, like, it's with, with the, within the person that I'm talking to, you know, I'm trying to um, wake them up and talk to them a different type of way, you know, or talk to them, you know, and get the uh, the most honesty out of them. And I just go go about it the wrong way or however. And then even when I do it, I might not, then I don't agree with it or however, you know, it's like, you know, nothing's good enough. Um, and like, I'm so horrible at letting people agree with me. You know, and it's like, it just makes for bad, bad podcasting all around. My mouth is still messed up, so, like, my words are not going to, you know, I can't talk anyway. Um, so, you know, my diction is already going to be messed up even more now, though. Um, so, I erased that episode, like, you know, he's like, well, you could have just broke it down, you know, into sections. I could have did that also, you know. But it's like every time I try, I, you know, I couldn't listen to the whole thing. It was long. But it's like every time I fast forward a little bit, I'm talking, you know. And I'm talking and I'm talking and I'm yelling, you know. And he said that, like, we ain't need to mic that loud because once we get to talking, you know. And I... Like, that's another point, you know, all the, the yelling and the cutting off and things like that. And then, you know, I ask for the courtesy, but I don't give the courtesy, you know. It's just, and it's, I think this is like, it's like I'm not get. I haven't done, I haven't gotten, I need practice, you know, right? I need, I need, I need him to be here more. And I told him that also, but it's like, I need practice because I don't talk to nobody. So I don't know how to talk to people no more, you know, because I just actually, you know, like a lot of times I just want to be heard because of my points of views are, you know, a, another branch of reality, you know, that has spun off. And so, um, 
I don't want to hear the same rhetoric that, you know, we all been taught or, you know, we all, you know, everybody that call themselves smarty art niggas or whatever, you know, all these little things that we know, the stuff that Kyrie getting in trouble with for the stuff that um, Kanye West get, you know, Ye getting in trouble for, you know, things of that sort, you know, all the things that the people, Barkley, um, Shaq, you know, all the stuff that they keep on saying, you know, and like, it's like a, it's like a, uh, like, they are actually in blackface, you know? Let me cut this light on. What the hell was that? I'm better at taking notes, but I am not like better at like, man, like um, organizing them, you know, into like something that could be later on um, put together for a book or you know, an article. Cause the notes I took today, like I would actually like to, you know, write them out later, or maybe I just put them in a the description, you know, of the show. Um, I want to call this money grab, you know, I don't want to call it, you know, the political, you know, the subject matter that I'm going to talk about, you know, it's a money grab though, people, um, not, let's not forget, you know, this, um, from Negro to Hebrew is the number one, you know, book and the number one movie, I think on Amazon now, right? It's a movie? Oh, yes, yeah, a documentary, right? And so it's a book also um, I just heard about today. And, like, you know, that's selling. You know, and like, it's, uh, I guess, to a, you know, to a certain degree, there are always going to be, at the most, maybe 10% of the people that listen, you know, that will buy what you're selling. And so, you know, with this attacking of, um, Kyrie for just posting it and then the the uh, scrutiny and the the backlash that he got and the I'm not going what um, what I would say the um, the restitution that they want him to pay you know for as far as what he has to go through to get back into the game and play and like we need to stop using these certain words, you know. Niggas need to stop using butt breaking. Like, these, like hunkies think like animals. That's why they always refer to stuff animals. These, you know, these lizard brains and just like that. You know, like we are not animals. We look. We shouldn't be talking like that. You know what I mean? Like, let, let them stop using their words. You know, we use their words. We white and this shit. Like these are not motherfuckers. Are not white. I ain't never met a. This is not white. You know what I'm saying. And the binos I met, they look, they the most white looking people I met, and they still, they, they still niggas. So, them hunkies, I don't, you know, right? They closer to pink than anything, you know what I'm saying? That's why, why you don't call it, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. You know, you let them pick a word, you let them pick a, a, a good word, a, a, a good definition, a good word, a good definition. I mean, it ain't, I mean, you know, we ain't let them pick it, but you call them, you know what I mean? We call them by what they want to be called by, but, you know, we call them by what they call us. That's my point. We need to stop saying book breaking, you know, they being book broken, all that. Like, oh, we, this is not, fuck all that country ignorant shit. And I said that on the podcast, and I ain't feel good about that, you know, calling the, the people down south, you know, country, me ignorant and things like that because it's the mentality, and I call them behind also. Right, let me, I don't know why I raised the show I'm going to set up there. <laughs> but the terminology, the thinking, you know, and it's the, uh, um, I, I don't have the mentality, so I don't know, you know, how to, how it's a different type of mentality, you know. I do remember, you know, like working in, the lower class, the low class, um, corporate world about, um, listening to 
because they talk confidently, you know, and then when they're the boss and things like that, you know, you want to listen, you know, you want to listen to the boss and when they talk like, you know, like you can, you know, this is what I do and this is me, you know, and you like, you know, it's like a, a it's no different than a gang or army or however, you know, I used to look up to certain dudes like, um, there was, there was talking, you know, about the folks and, you know, and about gangs and, you know, or the same way I used to listen to my teacher talk about the revolutionary war, you know, and we Americans and, you know, you know, it's, it's always, a, it's always a team thing is my point. And, um, they, they brainwash you into thinking that you are on the same type of, you know, you on the same team, you know what I'm saying? And you, we, and it's true, but it's like, um, I'm taking, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking mine and going home, you know, however, like, it's not, it's not the same. It's like, they actually use, like, they manipulate you because it's like, you're on the team, you know what I mean? But you're not on the team, you know, right? You, you, you are in the last cart, right? You in a, you a telly, you know, snow piercer talk. But my point is, you know, certain words we shouldn't say, and buck breaking is one of them, you know. But the things that they want um, him to do <clears throat> is not correct. And besides, like the clubhouse before today, before I dun dun dun, dun um, before today, you know, it's like the clubhouse people retaliating against the system, you know. But you don't hear, you know, like you had Shaq talking shit. LeBron talking shit, you know, uh, of course, um, Barkley was going to talk shit, you know, all these people, um, I heard Jalen Rose was talking some shit, you know, cause it's shit that they're talking. And it's like, you know, um, it's not, they shouldn't have said nothing at all. If you were going to say something negative, you know, especially, you know, oh, you know, you can't like, share, or subscribe to nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anti Semitic. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, it's like, you know, they, they just cover all bases. It's like, you know, you can't like, subscribe, share, uh, tweet, you know, uh, right? It really, you better not post it, right? You better not share a link of it. How dare you? <laughs> Like, you know, and then, like, like we have, I don't know where you, where people live, you know, how, where black, black people know this, you know, niggas know this, like, right, everybody know that we Israelites, <laughs> we see them on the corner <laughs> all the time, and I'm not making a joke, because it's in the lineage, you know, and then they want to, I don't like, like, we got these you got people that want to, like, this is what I'm trying to say. This is why we have, like, my type of knowledge or something like that. Like, sometimes I say something ignorant, you know. It's not it's not even wrong. It's just ignorance, you know. And it's not, um, it's, it's not all the way correct. I don't know how to say it because I don't say things like what I'm about to tell y'all, right, that this um, nigga, um, yuck mouth, was saying and like and what they and what other people like uh put together and it's not only him you know but because they're trying to defend us by talking about you know sham and being one of Noah's sons and things like that and him being a cursed one so this is why he had the dark skin and things like that you know like oh that that's some bullshit you know what i mean but it actually says that in the bible but like you know i i i never thought I, 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 um, disregarded that, you know, because it was something that was used actually, you know, for, for Europeans to, uh, to say, oh, you know, this is why we, we curse because we got, you know, we got dark skin because of this. And, and it, it's like, if this is what I have realized, people, all that shit they say about us is the shit that's for them, you know, all that, like that curse shit, the skin shit, like you curse to lose your melanin 
right? You curse to lose your melanin, and then all that, and it's always about some sexuality, you know what I mean? The curse, right? And it's like, oh, you look, you, you know, look at your father naked. What the, who the fuck, you know, like, like, or who hasn't seen, like, back then, who wouldn't see their father naked, or however it goes, you know? But this is the great sin of the, of the, of the, of the black man, though. Right, and this is the curse of the dark skin. But if if there was any, if it was any truth into that at all, you know, then it was it would be the other way around, you know, because people right the 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 mutation is to lose your pigment, It's not to gain pigment. <laughs> Saying I can stay out in the sun longer, <laughs> I feel stronger. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is not the curse, you know. And then they want to sit up there and talk about how. You know, without, you know, uh, just genealogy or genealogy or whatever, genetically, okay, how the mixing of the races and all that type of things will make us, you know, will make them, will make the Jews, you know, um, melanated color in the first place, you know, and all this type of things about 2,000 years ago in the Mediterranean or, or even a 1,000 so years ago in the middle of the desert, you know, the people would not be, you know, um, fucking, right, unless they died of cancer at the age of 30, you know, because that's what would happen to hunkies if they stay out in the sun all day, every day, you know, in the, in the desert for 25, 30 years, they'd be dead, 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 right, and that's not even a joke or anything like that, but, like, that's what would happen to them from being in the sun, Long exposure, right? And they made the sun everybody's enemy. It's only your enemy. Anyway, people, it's the money grab, right? Because, um, all right, all right, but back to, like, you know, just people speaking, you know, they're trying to make it Bible-related and showing how, you know, that we are actually Jews. But it's that's all fine and dandy because it's true, but it doesn't even, like, it's... It's not even the point, you know. The point is that they think they better than us, right? When they don't want to be, nobody wants to be related to us, right? Nobody wants to be related to grandma, right? Everybody got a nigga grandma. Everybody grandma black, you know what I'm saying? Right? Meghan Markle kids, right? Grandmother or grandfather black, right? Or they grandmother, they kids, you know, when they had kids, she have black, she black. You know, Halle Berry kids, right? They grandma black. But when they go off in, into this European um, system, right, of the matrix, part of the matrix, you know, then then a couple, couple generations down the line, you ain't going to be able to tell the difference, you know? They get that immunity, Just you know, not not right. Just a just a just a just a tad, just a tad. <laughs> you know, not too dark, not too. Just that golden. I just want that golden. I just want that golden kiss color, like the gods. Um, but the money grab, right? Bezos, you know, and like the 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 billion dollar question. You know, why ain't nobody jump down Amazon throat? You know. Oh, Kyrie, sir, uh, Kyrie, um, share this link. Um, what's wrong with Amazon, uh, putting up this anti-Semitic, you know, <laughs> uh, rhetoric, um, documentary on a, on a website for everybody to, uh, see what's wrong with Amazon? No, that ain't, ain't, ain't that how it puzzle go? Somebody share the link. They, you know, right. Um, I thought it was no uh I thought it was no um no repercussions and backlash for the whistleblowers. You know, right? I thought the whistleblowers weren't supposed to get in no trouble. But right, but the movie is making his company money now, right? With no backlash for him, but all of this trouble for this black man. 
And then he didn't even, he ain't even, right? You can't say, you ain't got nothing to say about, oh, he he said this wrong, though. You know, because, you know, uh yeah, you know, he was right. But then, you know, oh, 90% of the shit that he, you know, 10% of what he said was right. You know, but the rest of it was some, it was wrong and he was wrong, right? None of that yay stuff, right? The man ain't opened his mouth. He ain't said nothing about nothing. He's like, hey, Isabel, how can you share this anti-Semitic stuff? He's like, how, how can I be anti-Semitic when I know where I come from? And he told the report, I seen when it first happened. You know what I mean? It's like, that's what I'm talking about. He trying to be, he, he, he being articulate. He shut the man down. He trying to be a, he trying to be an asshole. Keep on asking the same question over and over again, a different way or the same way. And, and then, and trying to paint him into a corner and he didn't go into none of the corners, but he, and then, it, and it's still, he said, like, Oh yeah, you're going, you're going to like this clip and this and this and that. And that's exactly what happened. This is some bullshit. You ever been mad fucked? And who making the money off of it, right? But here came Farrakhan to the rescue. I ain't hear everything he had to say, you know, um, cause I guess, I guess he said, they said he spoke for an hour. Um, I don't have the whole hour of the speech, but I do have a little bit of it and I'm going to play some of it for y'all, the part that I have. Um, but you know, this was like, this was like granddaddy, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, this is, this was, you know, the elder, right? The voice of sensibility and, and the truth, right? To say, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, y'all try to, y'all try to do me the same way, nigga, and I'm still kicking, I'm still here, like, don't try to talk about my sons and, and try to kick my sons and try to put them against each other, you know what I'm saying? You try to do the same thing to me and try to make me bow down, stuff like that, right? Speaking his truth. And we, and, and for those that know, they know, you know, we've been, been, you know, like, we've been having to go through this since the 80s with them, you know? Uh, Farrakhan and the Jews, like, I'm acting like I can't say their name. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but, you know, but he came, I mean, he came down like Superman today for me. Because nobody, you know, I mean, like I said, these clubhouse people, you know, uh, the little bloggers, a few, you know, a few, a few YouTubers are, you know, um, Pointing out that Shaq got the movie in his movie theater. Pointing out, you know, you know, just pointing out the bullshit about uh, LeBron and Barkley in the first place. You know, with them in their dresses and them, uh, you know, at bar mitzvahs and and that's another thing. Like you know, what I'm saying like these Jews pay these celebrities and, and a lot of these entertainers and this a lot of money just to go to their kids bar mitzvah 13 you know and so how much money right how much money you gotta have to pay if somebody 10 20 30 100 thousand dollars to come to the, your kids bar mitzvah you know because that's their superhero though you're gonna pay them but it's nothing to you though Remember that Sweet 16 stuff, that ghetto stuff you used to see on, on, on M M MTV? That's nothing compared to a bar mitzvah, right? And, and the girls and the boys have them. You know, it ain't nothing but like, you know, you ever seen that, um, the mob movies where they had a weddings, you know, and ain't nothing but monies and envelopes dropped off? Like, that's what it is. And all these celebrities, and they have them come to their bar mitzvahs for their children. And then you see LeBron helping the old little rabbi or whoever, the old Jewish man, you know, that can't hardly walk. Shaq sitting down next to one. Why he in a damn wheelchair look like, you know. Get down here on the floor with me, boy. You know, I hate to talk like that. Like, you know, like, like, you know we not, like, I don't, this, but like, right? We see this, we see this behavior from them. Mm -hmm. This, right? 
kissing ass. And um and so nobody was coming to his nobody was coming to um you know, Kyrie's rescue. Because like I said, like unlike Ye, you know, you didn't have you didn't have you couldn't say nothing. You know, he, he was he was Barack Obama on his shit. You know, all he did was stand up there and articulate self, articulate himself, and and look cool, doing it. You know, and they they hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm trying to say. Like he said, like Farrakhan said, like they come. You know, they, they, every nigga and all these people, right? It didn't happen back to back like it is now. That's what I'm trying to say. Like everybody need to start saying some Jew names. Every, like if you got see see if it's true, right? Y'all y'all think it's true? I mean, like oh, y'all still got doubts. You know what I'm saying? So if it so if it's true, then why we can't say it's true then? Just like we say, I mean, just like we say white people. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? White people don't sit up there and make us say, you know, oh, every time they don't you know it ain't every fucking white person we talking about, you know? So you say Jew, it ain't every fucking Jew. You know what I'm saying? You say they, it ain't all of them, right? It's the same way we, like y'all tell us not to get offense when they, y'all say that, you know what I mean? Oh, you know, or however you supposed to feel about some of us, because you see some of us on, on TV doing some things bad. And that's all you ever see when you see us on TV. So you assume that, oh, you know, or you're, right? You're, Critical brain supposed to say, oh, well, they're not all like that. Even though I see them all on TV, every time I see them on TV, they're acting like that. Or this is what they're seeing. This is what they're portraying to me. You know, but I know a Tim, you know, I know a JP, I know a Matt Gladson. I just thought about him today, you know. I know hunkies by their name, right? How many white people like know you know a black person that they don't you know like know they you know do you know their name where they live? The thing is, right, white people let you get to know them, but they're not even really interested in getting to know you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, let me, you know what I mean? Like, let me show you, <laughs> let me show you about me, tell you about me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure all your stories are horrible, so you don't got to tell me. I'm sure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sure you had a rough life, so you only got you ain't got to, you ain't got to talk about it. <laughs> unless, unless they unless they want one of them friends that had a rough life, you know what I mean, or one of the people they could you know have charity for, you know. Oh, tell me all about it. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> I'm just talking right now. But um, Farrakhan came to the rescue, you know, and he said, it's, "Oh, I was about to play a clip. That's what I was gonna do." <clears throat> Talking too much, like my jaw still, because y'all know I didn't follow the dentist instructions correctly, right? So, um, basically, was that the dry socket been in pain, pain since being an asshole? Um, give me a hot second here, put y'all on. Um, shout out to uh, Viral Hip Hop News. That's where I got the clip from. But I'm going to so, play um, clips that I found to be more important than others, even though the entire speech is important. I implore all of you to go listen to the entire speech in full. But I'm going to play clips of the interview where he speaks on Kanye West. He speaks on Kyrie Irving and, most importantly, the treatment by our own 
that they are currently receiving. Make sure you hit that like button, notification bell if you deem this video worthy. <laughs> and share, drop it on your social media account, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know how we do. I appreciate each and every one of y'all's support. And I ain't going to talk y'all ear off any longer. Without further ado, Minister Farrakhan. I'm sure my... T Hold on. I want to say... Um... I know there's gonna be I know there's gonna be ignorant people, you know, that's gonna have pushed back against this, you know, and I don't know how, you know, but some way, you know, somebody's gonna find some type of fault in what he's saying. And this man is eighty some ninety pushing ninety years old, I damn near think. You know, he's been around and you know, and and he um they made him back off, you know, he used to talk a lot of crazy stuff, and then he, you know, and he kind of, he, 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 he rescinded some of his statements before, he don't talk as viciously as he used to talk, you know, not any type of way, but they still don't mess with him, like, they still haven't forgiven him, like they said, right, all of that, you know, you gotta bow down and kiss the ring type of thing, but, like, this is a grandfather type of speak, you know, and so, like, this, like, about how, like, like they putting us against each other as always, and and like sometimes it doesn't matter um, if you don't agree. You know, it's like, you know, it's like we we all say we family for some reason, right? Because we, we all niggas in America. Everybody get their nigga checking, and they didn't got they and they didn't got they nigga checking. Berkeley got his, you know. Um, LeBron got his, you know. They. And, and and so when it happened to somebody else, you they make you like drink the Kool Aid like that, like hey, you know what I'm saying? It's your time, like you know, hey, you owe, like I guess they owe him a favor, like damn, do you, not only do you have to apologize to him, but you owe him a favor. And so when somebody else get out of line, say hey, nigga, get that nigga, you know, and it's ridiculous. But I'm saying is. Let me see what my notes say. I'm just trying to. But it warmed my heart, you know, um, for him to do this today. You know, because, you know, I was watching the pattern and watching the silence by all the big wigs that's not agreeing, you know, with the bullshit. Be quiet. And nobody else is speaking up, you know, of any um, reputable voices or, you know, anyone else that someone would listen to. And so I'm so proud, you know, that this man um, sat there and spoke and said what he said. Um, just by the little part that I heard. I heard two different, you know, parts. So I haven't even heard the whole thing, which I'm going to find it and I'm going to listen to it. But I'm going to give you all a little bit of it right now without further ado. Teacher is deeply concerned about what is happening in black America today that is put to of our young men one a great basketball player Kyrie Irving and another brother who is called a rapper but he's so much more than that brother Ye and the controversy that is swirling around these two men that is causing, unfortunately, division among a people that can least afford to be broken more apart because of misunderstanding and, unfortunately, Parts of ignorance that we don't see the enemy who is working 100% 
to bring bloodshed about among us because of the serious nature of what is happening that is causing them, the enemy, to use his influence on those of us who are on his payroll. And those of us who have been blessed to be connected to them could be a blessing, but it also can be a cursing. Because once the enemy puts his talons into you, he's reaching for your mind, but more than that, he's reaching for your soul to empty us and make us weak when we could be strong. And doing his bidding rather than manifesting the great love that God wants us to show toward one another. He is a lover. Kyrie is the same. But he wants to stand on a principle. And you see him standing. How intelligent he are he is, and the media keeps running at him. With, why, don't, why don't you say you apologize for this anti-Semitism? You did the same thing to me. I've tried to have meetings with you. Let's dialogue about this. You don't want to dialogue with me. You want to dialogue with somebody that you know you can put down because of the power you have over them by giving them a contract and money that you can take from them if they say or do anything that you don't like. This is the day of judgment and justice. These men don't want to be against you. These men are grateful. You brought them out of college and high school and gave them a contract. You gave them a contract because you saw their talent. Haven't they made money for you all? So now you sign them up. And then Adidas comes by and Nike comes by and gives them a lot of money that they don't see. You have them on a leash. And whenever somebody like Kyrie or Ye rise up and you don't like it, you pull the chain. So we run out and dog our own brother because he did something for a principle. You will too. Life is bigger than paper with a white man's image on it. Life is bigger than a nice house and a nice car. And a lot of bling bling. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with Sanjay, and he actually purchased. Bling. Life is bigger than an Oscar. Life is bigger than a belt. Life is bigger than something that says, I am the best at what I do. I'm the most valuable player or my team won. But as a people, 
We are losing. We cannot afford to lose any of you. You are our kith and our kin, our flesh and our blood. And so, I wanted to say something to help us to come together rather than break apart. Because it's Ye and Kari today. But what they're doing to them is to make you who are in the good graces of them, so you think. You see what we just did? Ye lost two billion dollars. You might wonder, did he really have it? <coughs> he lost that much that soon? Right. You know when you signed the contract with him. I don't know what's in the contract, but you do. So evidently, Adidas and all the companies that Brother Kanye is signed to or was signed to until Mr. Ari Emmanuel told everybody just drop him. Beloved uh, brothers and sisters, look. Your day is soon coming. I'm asking you stop beating each other up in the public. Stop doing that. But of course, that's what the master wants us to do. There's a slave here that's getting out of place. And teach him a lesson. Beat him up. I'm saying to you, don't do that. Call your brother. Come and sit down with us. Tell us about this movie. I understand that Brother Shaq, Keel, O'Neill, put it up in his theater. Go see it. Right, while well, Shaq talking all that bullshit about, you know, about him. Um, and you, right, when your money, because you got all these partners, you know, which are a lot of Jews, you know. Um, and you don't know, you know, where your money at, you know, or, or where your investment at, and things like that. Or oh, I know all about, you know, I know everything about... Cause he was just on drink champs, you know. I like he he um he was condescending, you know, and and trying to act better than on the show on, on drink champs. I didn't like it, you know. I cut it off, but like you know, like drinking the water, like ah, you know, oh this is my drink, ah, oh this is the best, you know, all that type of, you know, for you know this on he just kept on doing the joke, you know. And, you know, like, oh, you don't drink? You're like, oh, yeah, I drink, you know, but I ain't, you ain't going to have me on here. Like, nigga, you act like you, you can't take a drink or two in public, you know, on drink champs. What the hell you on here for then? You know? Come on, you know, you can't you can't handle, you know, you seven feet tall. That or you can't handle a couple shots or something like that. You're going to get all out your hookup. You know, that's the, you right? And, you know, he, he is sheriff. And all, all of this Uncle Tom stuff, right? Which they got Uncle Tom messed up because he was actually... <laughs> uh, the stories that we be told, you know? And stuff like that. Like, I, you know, like, I, I have to check myself a lot, you know? Um, and I forgive Farrakhan for talking like that, 
Because he always, you know, talk about, but that master stuff, all that type of stuff. Like, you know, niggas shouldn't be saying nothing like that. Nothing should be coming out. No niggas mouth about who, who master, right? I don't know. I ain't never heard of that shit. White supremacy, I don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? You could be a racist, prejudiced, whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Right? You, oh, okay. You, you spoiled, huh? You spoiled rotten. That's all that comes down to. Who raised you? You know, right? All hunkies ain't the same. And, like, that's the whole point. It's like everybody, you know, right? Jews, oh, they all want to be the same, you know? Oh, he, he, he said something about, what do you say? <laughs> like, who called the dogs out, you know? When that, was that, that one meme when the, the dog, the cat smacked the, What's that? Oh, the monkey smacked the dog. <laughs> and then you see the dog get on the phone and all the dogs come running. You know, then the monkey calling his people. Stuff people be making up. But anyway, people. Um, That, you know, I don't know what it's going to lead to. <laughs> or, you know, if more people, if more people, uh, of stature come out and support, you know, these guys. But it seems like, because, like, you know, they pick us off. Like, I told you, it's all about numbers. Because, you know, like, they got the Nick Cannon thing back up on YouTube. Um, His interview with um, Professor Griff, right? Remember when Nick Cannon had, you know, in class with Cannon? I mean, that nigga was trying to be smart ER. He wanted to spread knowledge all over the world. <laughs> he down there with uh, Dr. Carr. You know, and Dr. Carr said, that, you know, he was really coming to class and stuff like that. Like, you know, had Professor Griff on his show and, oh, no. <laughs> they took everything from him, right? I mean, they tried, you know, they took it for right, put that nigga on punishment, put him in timeout. Right, he had to go through right sensitivity, like you know, as a people, right. But we like, you know, saying niggas is like hunkies, you know. We oh, don't we ain't all like that, you know. We ain't all the same, you know, <laughs> right. He asked every black, oh, we ain't all like that. Oh, I ain't all like you know. But it's a difference, like when they go home and, and act like. You know, then they they act like the, they act like the ongoing system. So that means they lie to your face, and then you go home. You know, and you don't you don't act. You know, like you don't act like, or you do some ghetto shit too. But you don't act like you know it's not the same thing. You know, and that's the kind like that's the that's the insanity that we live with. You know, um, being in America or being right, being an American first, being a, a man. You know. Then, you know, all these teams that they put us on, but, you know, they put you basically uh, on a losing team, like, just so they could have somebody to fight against, you know? Like, here go, here go some wooden swords, you know what I'm saying? You team black. Like, nigga, I ain't even black. Fuck out here. <laughs> I ain't even dark as them, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's what they want you to say, right? That's what they make you think. Like, damn, like, I ain't that dark, you know? Like, I'm closer to your, you know, right? But that's the wrong way to think about it. Because they just, the whole point is, they putting you on a losing team, right? I'm the cop, you the robber. Run, nigga, run. (laughs) I got a gun, you ain't getting no gun, you know? Your side don't get no gun. That type of stuff. So, you know... Um, you you run as far as way as you can, and then you build a fort, you know, and you come up with your own weapons, right? <clears throat> but you don't sit up there and still play cops and robbers with them, you know. Oh, take me to jail. Yeah. All right, you sorry, nigga? All right, let you out. Come up. All right, we better play again, you know. Or right, they let you go for a few days, right? You know, go. All right, it's time to play again, you know. Whenever they want to. And, like, it's not funny. It's not, you know, it's sarcastic. It's, you know, it's not funny. 
It's serious, you know, and it's a crazy world. It's like when we speak, you know, what I'm saying it's it's all it's, it's, and it's it's it's, it's bilingual. We, we're not saying we, you know, right? We bipolar. Basically, right? Half crazy, half, you know, up and down. You know, either way, you know. And, it, and it's the system. It's not, you know, it's like uh, the 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 um, same part of your brain, or however, is amazing, you know, that you walk around in this crazy system, you know, right? I used to, and this is the confusion that you have as a teenager, right? But then, like I said, you know, and you don't, you want to belong on a team, and then they they slowly but su- slowly but surely separate us, you know. And then, you know, even with them, right? Then, oh, uh, you know, um, this family Democrat or this family Republican, you know, and this shit is actually like religious to them to certain degrees, right? Along with the religion, you know. So it's just, you know, they just stacking the teams, you know, like, hey, we got a million over here, we got two million over here, you know. How many of you niggas got? <laughs> you know, I mean, well, how many people in your church? How many people? How many people on your um, political board? Right? How many people you got in the union? <sighs> that part, right? And it's the thing, is, you know, like the smart yard niggas in my neighborhood, or not in my neighbor. I don't know where I get it from. You know, I mean, I know that all the, it's the older dudes in the neighborhood, jail too, you know. And I don't want to give all the credit to jail because, you know, I hung around older dudes that talked about right things and taught us, yeah, you know. You go through your African phase, you know, learn about, you know, Africa and, Af- you know, and history and then the Muslim, you know, phase or, you know, and then the Nation of Islam is not even, it's different than being Muslim. So, like, you know, just listening to Farrakhan and all the things, you know, all that all that type of stuff, all the speeches, you know, um, gives you the basis, you know, for being a nigga in America. And you're supposed to take all of that, you know, and by now, being 50, right, Generation X should have more solutions than trying to be 30 still, you know, and partying. Like, right? these niggas, you know, I mean, right, half of them over 40 and still, you know, with the chains and all the, the young look, you know. And I still find myself, I, like, because I don't have a regular job, job, you know, like, like that, um, with the business casual, you know, Monday through Thursday, and then, you know, casual on Fridays type of thing, um, my point is, like, I have a lot of t-shirts and things like that dressed down wear, or the same look that I've been wearing for the last 20 years, you know, and, like, that part I understand also, but it's like, so these niggas gonna be wearing, you know, skinny jeans, for the next 30 years, when they're 60, I already see, like, but they already make them, they stretch pants, you know, and so these niggas got all these, this belly with these stretch pants on, you know, it's it just, it's just, I don't know how, it, it just looks horrible, you know, it just looks horrible, so moving on, people, <clears throat> the midterms, um, so, I guess, the you know Democrats are uh, semi celebrating because you know they didn't lose that many seats. They didn't you know they didn't lose that many seats um, in the House or the Senate or the House. So like the House still may be like split fifty fifty depending on um, Nevada and Arizona, but I think like the Democrat gonna win and Nevada and the Republican gonna win in um in Arizona. And so that it will come down to the, the runoff in Georgia with Warnock and um Herschel Walker. Now right I don't know why they, this man, Herschel Walker, should not be, you know, um running for public office. Um it's not even about him not being very articulate, right? I mean it's just it's just like a, I don't know. It's like a, um, 
I mean, I guess it's how politics works. You know, like people, we think how we think it's supposed to work a certain way, but popularity, you know, wins elections and things like that. And that football stuff down south is real big, you know. Um, you know, he was a he was a uh a MMA fighter also. I I don't know, they don't talk about that shit. Like that nigga was fighting when he was like fifty something. <laughs> he ain't to, he, had to, he, he he didn't add some punches to the right. That's a lot of everybody talk about the retardation or nothing like that though. <laughs> right. They they talk about the man had a stroke, you know, he still be Doctor Oz. I'm glad that Oz lost. But right, they could talk about that. They can't talk about this man playing football and being in, in the um, MMA. So you know he might have some brain damage. Don't he talk like it? You know. All he could say is, you know, I'm not that tough. They think they're gonna knock me down, but I'm not gonna go down like that. I'm real tough. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for him to say, I pity the fool who tried to take me down. <laughs> I got my gun right here. Right? He seemed like that, like he that type of, you know, Uncle Tom. But, and like, and it's so funny. So you got to give 50.1, I guess. And so Warnock, and it's only because some third party was in there and took 2.1% of the vote. Like, what the hell was that supposed to be? You know, he just got exactly that much. But, because he got 49%, right? Not, you know, close but no lumps. And so now they're going to have a runoff. Um, I think it's like December 6th. And so, like, the control of the House, or I think it, it's the Senate, Congress, it's Congress, not the Senate. I think it's the co- control of Congress, um, you know, is going to come down to Georgia. And um, if war not win, then it stays the same. But the whole point is, like, all of this, um, well, yeah, you know, it comes down to that. And, um and they're but they're painting the picture as like a Trump loss, you know. Before I get to that though, is that so J D Vance run, right, in Ohio, which is my state. And I had no idea that that was gonna happen. <laughs> right? There's somebody who was neck and neck, this and that. It's like uh Tim Ryan was ahead, but that's what I had thought for the whole time. Only co- per- commercials that I saw was about J D Vance um uh, being a scammer you know, started a non-profit, you know I'm talking about, he's going to help the opioid crisis in Ohio, <laughs> and he used the money to start his political career, <laughs> and didn't spend no money, didn't open up no clinics or nothing, <laughs> I was like, damn, <laughs> I was just thinking the other guy was going to win, you know, and he won, because he was, like, he the only, like, he by, it's like only a few Right, all these candidates was on Trump's coattails. You know, these are Trump kids. And so, you know, uh, all these people that used to say that he, they hated Trump, you know, they started, you know, jumping on his side, jumping on his bandwagon. And, um, you know, they was winning. But, like, now they're starting to wane. But, like, at this time, it, it, it was basically only, a, like, him and maybe one or two other people to actually won, the rest of them lost. And so they, you know, they actually saying, you know, this is a, a, a Trump defeat. Like, this nigga is, uh, you know, um, the emperor, you know? Like, he was on a ticket, and like, you know, like, this is a blow to the empire. <laughs> these people, right? These teams, and like, this is what I be trying to say about us. I said at the beginning of my podcast career, right, about we need to get out of Hunky's business. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, and then we could tell them, right, to stay the fuck out of ours. But, you know, every time they have an issue, they want to, right, they want to put a microphone in front of one of us. You know what I'm saying? You, hey, you on my side, you know. Hey, you know I'm like, yeah, you know, hey, you know, I ain't commit that fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that ain't my gasoline, is it? <laughs> you know? Right? And there's always going to be a nigga say, no, nah, that ain't his gasoline.
that's my gasoline, you know, some of them, but like, you know, these people cr commit these atrocities or and bad mouth people cr destroy people's careers, lives, legacies, name, right? And, and, and order, and along, you are assisting them. You're not even, right? You're not even, you're not even watching passively. You are actively. Throwing a match on a fire. Oh, that part ain't burning right there, boss. Let me get that. You know? I mean, this is how, this is how the world, this is how the world history looks at us. This is how the spirits looks at us. You know what I'm saying? This is how karma looks at us. Like, this shit is karma. You want to talk about how, uh, like, it's a shame that our kids, all of our kids, all the niggas kids in the, in the world, in America, can't be no more than, what, 10, 20 million of them. Don't know all of the history of the shit of niggadom up in America. All the inventions, not just the little bullshit, right, in February. All of the towns, the Rosewoods, the, 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 uh, whatever, Greenwood, you know what I'm saying? All of that, all of those places, the Oklahomas, you know, Tulsa, all of, all of those places. Every day had, is, Harlem, you know, the black gangsters, you know, the, the fishermen, you know, the cowboys, been, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all that stuff supposed to be old. All that shit supposed to be old. And no hunky supposed to be able to talk about nothing about no uh, slavery because it ain't supposed to be anyone is on our mind. And when they bring it up, what the fuck you talking about? Like, do you know this? Do you know that? Do you know this? Right? Oh, you know, right? The they want to talk about these uh presidents, you know? About, you know, right? Have them niggas, right? The ha half of the half of the beginning um presidents was black. I mean, they're like not even you don't even have to say them. I you know, they was talking about there was presidents before before uh Washington cuz it used to be like a a one year t a year two thing. A one a year two thing, you know, before like um before they even broke off from um the British. They had leaders, you know, and it was niggas. But it's always been this is what I'm trying to say, like it's not what you it's not what you think, you know. It's not no conquering, it's disease, you know what I'm saying, and infestation that took over this country and pedophilia. This is a fucking slave colony, a fucking, uh, a sex slave colony. And disease, and disease is, is what killed the people that didn't go back down, that didn't go down south. Think, or you think, where you, what do you think all them people down south are? Them damn, they Indians. <laughs> you can call them Mexican, you can call them Guadalmanian, Colombian, all that. Like, you know, they, they, you know, and then that's like Colombia more on an island, I think, closer to the water. Like, you know, that's why they lighter. But like all them other people in Central America with that, with that skin tone, that's my color, right? Them the Indians that ran, you know what I'm saying, they got away. Like, and the other people, you know, the ones that, the ones that, that stayed and fought and that didn't die, you know, from the diseases, you know, that, that was one, that was one, there was no big wars like that, you know what I mean? Like, does y'all understand about how they inflate, right? Just how they inflate the numbers. They inflate the story, right? Embellish the story, little white light here, this and this and that. I mean, think about Billy the fucking kid was a fucking cow thief, you know? You learn about all these, like, this is, you know, like, this is was part of my process of, like, about how the storytelling goes and about how, you know, how if, if this is how people tell the stories now, this is how people have always told stories and people have always made shit up, you know?
right? Every fairy tale is built on on a moral. There's a moral to the end of the story, right? To teach us, right? To teach us remembrance about, you know, to 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 go through the process of, you know, being able to think through the whole story and all the consequences and all the repercussions that come through decision making. And, and like, and when you choose the wrong path, it always ends up the same fucking way, and that's still the truth to the day. And what we are reaping, you know, what I'm saying for us not standing up, for us not sticking together, this is our karma. Because I told y'all from the beginning of my podcast career, you know, what I'm saying niggas been niggas was already here, and it ain't never been a whole lot of niggas in the world. There's so been a, lot, a whole lot of colored people, a whole lot of black people, whatever you want to call them, right? But niggas, never ignorant getting goals accomplished, don't fuck with nobody. It's always been a small number. And, like, you come, like, you might call them no bads, right? You know, but they bounce, like, you know, bounce all around the world. Teach people shit and move on. But... You know, people get stuck, you know, and get comfortable and, and put down roots. And here come these motherfuckers, you know, across the water with their diseases, with their, you know, famine, with their poverty. This is a welfare state, right? They make up money for their kids. They take care of these hunkies, you know? Niggas work for what they they get in America. By hook or crook, by um by um voluntary or involuntary, you know, you gonna work for your stay in America. Have them hunkies live for free always have and always will try to and always will try to live that way. Grants and monies and loans and forgivenesses and things of that sort, right? Pick and choose who you go after. Even, you know, they let people get away with murder. Murder, murder. Hold on. And that's another thing I don't get. It's like, these, like, doing these elections and things like these um, elections... And these people put out all this type of uh, stuff on people, like saying, like they said that this man started collecting a million dollars or something um, for a charity that's supposed to help the opioid crisis, which is Ground Zero in Ohio. Excuse me. Which is ground zero in Ohio. I mean, you know, like the number one spot, right, for upwards and um in the country, I do believe, is Ohio. And come on, he ain't give no money. He ain't start no chair I mean, he ain't start no um clinics, no uh no programs, right? Use the money to start his political career. Stop dissing Donald Trump, right, and start kissing his ass and now he got, he didn't want. And like, like I don't understand how if this stuff is not true, you know what I mean? Or the things that they could say about each other. This is what I'm talking about, the viciousness, right? But Kyrie Irving uh shares a link to something that he has not no and made no money off of, that has no investment in, didn't endorse or anything like that, you know, out his mouth. Um, just shared a link. And this is the repercussions, right? And you act like this not real. And you act like, you know, when you're talking about old Jews, you know, they you know, they act like they they run everything or they could or they, they mess up people or they fuck over black people, like you know, and then if you if you if you got any money for them to actually mess with, then they gonna actually come after you. And that's okay though. 
like I said before, right? Everybody else get to talk about everybody else, but you don't, you know what I'm saying? They, you don't, you don't include everybody when you be talking about them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, white people this, white people that. You know what I'm saying? Black people this, black people that, right? But everybody put to say, oh, they ain't talking about me though. But you say Judas, you say Judas. Oh, they talking about all of us. Fuck out of here, man. And like, that's the whole problem, right? I remember, I remember reading the Bible. And I, and that's like, you know, you go from feeling like, uh, well, damn, I'm not, I'm not like them. So am I going to go to heaven? You got to keep reading all the way to, to, to the back. <laughs> you too. You know, <laughs> you got, right? <clears throat> but they ain't nothing, them niggas lights. That's what I've been, right from the beginning, I told y'all, right? My vocabulary, my vernacular, you know what I'm saying? Called Nick Jews or nigger lights. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Right? A derivative. Everything is a derivative of the brown anyway. Right? It's not black. It's brown. Maybe that could unconfuse some people's mind. What they say, we, they didn't want to speak in nuance. I don't know what the hell that means. I kind of do. I used to know what it means, but whatever. I know it, Right? I I don't want to speak in nuance. I'm speaking truth, you know, and like that's what I'm trying to say about like the crazy part because we got we have to say crazy things because it's so wrapped up. It, it's wrapped because the lies are so wrapped up in the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to you have to peel back and you have to you have to keep going because it's not you know it's like it's not a um it's not a a, a, a point by point system. It's not a, you know, a PowerPoint presentation, you know, like, oh, and the right here, you know, this is that, and like, you know, this is like, nigga, did you know this? And this and this and that, you know, like, this part too, like, and this connect to that. And it's like, like I said before, you know, thinking is mathematical, you know, and it's like, they don't teach, I guess, you know, people don't think like that, like they think logically, but like, that's not, that's just one derivative of thinking. You know, that's just one formula of thinking or however you want to put it, you know. That's not the only way that thinking goes. Right? It come out time don't go in a straight line. You know, I, I know you don't think thinking goes in a straight line, you know, right? Just think about your dreams or how you think, think about how you think in the first place, you know. Y'all think y'all can multitask, you know? There's only one computer. Everything that computer doing is doing separately. But in harmony. But the right, so this midterm didn't turn out the way that the Republicans wanted, I guess. And um uh you know, you didn't hear a whole lot about, <clears throat> you know, that, you know, the, the vote. Like, they always make the same, excuse me, let me, give me a second. <clears throat> hear that, you know, we was hearing everything about how it's going to be a whole lot of voter fraud and, uh, it's a it's against the law to harass voter um voter workers or their families. <laughs> uh yeah, um voter what's they call whatever the voter workers um wearing a bulletproof vest and shit. <laughs> so dramatic, you know. It's like we need news teams, you know what I'm saying? We need nigga news on the streets. You know, I didn't know, right? I I thought it was one of my inventions, but, like, I say somebody has a, a YouTube channel, you know? I mean, all you gotta do is wait for it, you know? Your idea is out there somewhere. But, like, you know, the nigga news network, I think you say, I think you say nigga news network. <clears throat> But we need, you know, we need to start our own TMZ, right? It's so funny how people, you know, uh, who's on TMZ? It, it's real, you know, like, 
back in the day, that shit, you know, that was like the Inquirer. Celebrity gossip, you know, now it's breaking news, right? Because people call TMZ to sell the story, you know, because they pay, I guess. So, you know, they call them to sell the story before they call the police or call any, you know, call the real news people. Well, who are the real news people, right? Because they, they are, they know better. They just got a bigger budget, you know, and that's always, you know, that's always been, it was so funny when I was a kid, I used to be mad at them because they didn't show no emotion. Like the first five minutes of the news, we talking about somebody got killed, and this and this and that. And then they go on to, you know, how's the weather going to be? I'd be like, oh, they so cold hearted, you know, like as a kid. I'd be like, they so cold hearted, they don't show no emotion. And they talking about somebody got killed. Like, I wonder who got killed. <laughs> oh. People want to, I don't know what people be thinking about when they remember being a kid or how they want to, you know, they want to be, I wish I was, you know, this type of kid or, or they still act kid, the kid, like they act like the best version of their kid self, you know, but like not that, like the child, like the, you know, like they act like the grown, you know, like, oh, you know, like they actually, that, uh, grown person, like that big or that, you know, 13 from 13 to 31 or however, with uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Gardner, right? Uh, Freaky Friday, you know, like that's how they act instead of acting like the actual child, you know, and thinking like how, you know, like I just said, you know, I could just remember like feeling, you know, how I, like I just felt like the, the newscasters were cold hearted or you know, I have flashes of just being like an actual, like being there, you know, or having that feeling of being there and that feeling, you know, of how I felt at that time, not how I remember it feeling. You understand? <clears throat> right. I said I'm glad that Dr. Oz lost. You know, I, ne I stopped watching him. You know, a long time ago, uh, right, Oprah, you know, Oprah then gave us some, some questionable characters. <laughs> right, it was a different part on my, uh, on I had listened to one of them Farrakhan clips where he mentioned Oprah and stuff like that. Like I said, I do gotta listen to the rest of it, but as far I guess I said what what I want to say, you know, um, Trump. What did I say? Oh yeah, but Trump um, supposed to be well, you know, teased, right? The people standing on eggshells, waiting, I guess, anticipating. He's supposed to be announcing his run um, for president in 2022, I mean 2024, on November 14th, is my right. That's the date that he he, he, um, he teased out. And it's like, uh, I don't know what's taking him so long to indict this man, you know. And it's like, I just don't understand how he could be a front runner. You know, because, like, this is what I'm trying to, like, it doesn't take, the majority of white people are not like this, but the the way the Jews stick together, the ignorant hunkies stick together the same way. You know, it's like he, you know, he, 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 um, he made it okay for them, you know, to act a certain way or, you know, or at least, I don't know what, how, because they always, right, when I say they're not all like that, they still belong to, right, they're still in the same family, you know, but it's like, it's not like cousins that hate each other, it's like cousins, right, I'm a little bit city, I'm a little bit of country, right, that type of shit, and so, you know, they, you know, they, uh, they pay Monopoly together, 
you know, and stuff like that. With us, you know, like, you know, in, in the, when we try to start talking shit or doing things or however, that's when they come together, you know, one of the twin powers. But other than that, you know, they're trying to take each other over also, you know, mama side of the family, daddy side of the family, however you want to do the analogy. But my point is, um, I don't know that part, but, oh, I don't know. It's like, um, oh, about Trump, I guess, you know, how, uh, I don't know how, well, I just explained how, but, you know, this man been impeached twice, right? You got, you got all of these documents from the White House, you got all of this stuff, I mean, every court looking into him, and they still, right, he's still the head to be the next uh, head of the ticket. Now, that's some gangster shit, right? And then I seen this ignorant, and like, just like, like black people, right? Seen this ignorant ass dude on No Jumper talking about, you know, he Trump, dude, like, you know, he loved Trump and Trump, like, going back to that thing about how Trump was, you know, and all the rap songs and, you know, he was celebrated in the rap culture because he's an ignorant ass white man, you know what I mean? That, that be stealing from the system, you know, and getting away with it. <clears throat> and I guess I don't know why, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga. Right? It's like, like Scarface, you know. We right, we like bad guys, you know. Like you kill all, of, you know. Like we, you know, like we they kill our good guys. You know what I'm saying? We don't even got no bad guys, you know. They kill our good guys. We celebrate y'all bad guys and y'all kill our good guys. That shit don't make no damn sense. <laughs> Right? That's the backwards, like, that's the crazy thinking, you know? But he on there talking about, you know, all the things about Trump and all of that rhetoric. And then, right, I guess his friend, right, I guess his, I think he managed Bando Cav. So it was him, whoever the manager of him, of Bando Cav is, right? The dude, he didn't got lipo. But now he didn't got a, he got a, he got a, uh, a tattoo of Kanye West and a MAGA hat tattooed on him. I think it might be on his leg or the thigh, some shit like that. Like you know, he got a lot of tattoos. He used to be a scammer, and now I guess he teach financial literacy. <laughs> Which makes sense, though, you know. <clears throat> Which makes sense, though. Um, probably be making a lot of money, you know. And he say, right, they make money off the uh, off of OnlyFans, selling financial literacy on OnlyFans, like right? thirty, forty thousand a month. Let me try and get into, like, right? it's all about being into character. I do have a good character, you know what I'm saying? Because I am the, I, I was, I used to always tell y'all, I said I was going to be famous because, like, I am the gimmick, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I'm the gimmick. Like, I'm just, I, I got, I ain't got no act. I ain't got no, I ain't got to, uh, I ain't got to put no suit on. I got to, you know, give me no, I don't need no lines, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, put me in front of the camera, you know what I'm saying? And let's go. You know, but like that comes with the the confidence, right? And the not giving a fuck attitude, <clears throat> which um, it's not so much my strengths anymore. Not putting myself down, but you know, <clears throat> but. It's coming, people, right? It's the new year. I'm working. I'm telling you, right? Like, my, uh, this dental stuff, you know, has me in a depressed, <laughs> has me in a depressed mode. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of pain. 
Yo, like I told y'all, I'm hard-headed. You know, it's like, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't listen. Half-ass listen, you know. That's what I do. Just going to do just a little bit. Um, But I guess that's a show, right? Uh, I, I'm still, right? We're going to talk about these Akron cops on my next show. If not the next show, the show after that. Because I think I'm going to get my, um, my co-host in here. And see if we can do a more civilized um comprehensive show that can be, you know, digestible to the audience. <clears throat> um, that's all I have to say. Good night, good day, good evening to all those around the world. Peace and salutations. No, that's the wrong word, right? <laughs> Is that a Jew word? <laughs> Is that Hebrew? Right? Um, I know a little bit of Arabic. You know, Arabic and Hebrew are similar. I told y'all, I'm the reincarnation of a lot of shit. So I know how, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to wrote this shit down in the first place. They get it all from me and my mama. But that's for another day. I got my, like, I got to write my story down. So I got it almost together, basically. You know, it's just like, I just have to, um, have to learn how to indulge, right? And and turn it and twist it into a metaphor. And, you know, and it's going to be all the truth. But then it's just going to be wrapped into a story. A story that you think that you, you know what I'm saying, that you may have heard before. But it would be the story of Rich Matrix. Um, That's it, that's all. This has been a kind of smart podcast. Um, once again, I do appreciate everyone that listens to me around the world. We are here now, Craig, uh, to all five of y'all. <laughs> Uh, a few more than that, but it's cool. I am on all platforms. Um, I'm still banned from Facebook for three more, two more weeks, maybe three more weeks to the 23rd. Um, and all this stuff been going on, you know, and Facebook is one of my, um, my more viewed, um, platforms, you know, on the, uh, visual side. Because I put different things up there so they get to see my store and um, my podcast, you know, so it gets viewed on there. But iHeart um, is a big representative. Spotify is moving up in there. Um, Stitcher, you know, what's up, Stitcher? Uh, iTunes, always. Um, Apple. I'm a little bit everywhere, people. We already know this part. So if you want to listen to me, um, check out I Can't a Smart Podcast all around the world. Until next time, I'm out. This has been a TNC production. Peace. Do I want to clap? Let's do a clap.